Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episodes 36 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Hair. So, it's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This should be the episode. Yeah, it is. Mm hmm. Oh, I thought this was Monitor Dreaming. It's Laura. No, that's Monitor. But the fact is that we are finally 30-something episodes into this show. And we are finally going to see Laura's home. I mean, well, technically, like, episode one, episode two, we you get, like, a preview of it. But not to the point where, like, yeah, we get to see the inside, the outside, the atmosphere, the surround, like, the environment and everything. And we're finally going to see that. So, of course, yeah, it's going to give me a lot of Mermaid Melody vibes. And it's just kind of like how I think in the first, like, 25 episodes of Mermaid Melody where you got to see, like, Lucia's princess coronation thing. Then when season two came and you got to see, like, teeny tiny bit of Coco's home or um, Noelle and Cotton's home. Um, I think see, yeah, a little bit of season one, we got to see Lena's and then Hanan's. But sierra and seta we never truly got to see like their kingdoms because of course their king blah, 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 their kingdom got destroyed because of gaito so yeah mm -hmm. Not really. Because you would think we would get something like this in, like, what, the final episode of this series... It's just kind of how, like, last season with Healing Good and, you know, Haruka, um, what did I say Haruka? Madoka. No, Nadoka. Nadoka, Hinata, Chiyu, and, of course, Umi all went to, you know, Umi's home and Latte's home.
it kind of gives me like oh my god the the freaking like cosmic observatory feels from super mario galaxy in a way Yeah, so please don't lose it. <laughs> right. Yeah, you listen to me, Rodin, because you know she knows everything. I mean, but still, like, okay, it's already weird enough that ever since the first episode of this series, we just, is, like, know her as Queen, the Grand Ocean's Queen. She has no first name? No. So by the end of the series, is Laura going to get that thing? I mean... Just seeing Manasu eating pizza just gives you feels and <laughs> too <laughs> You're right, yeah, this is also the episode where they get it. Because technically that ring is officially now their final, final power-up. Because I don't think they're going to get anything else after this episode. Since we are, like, we're like... Hmm, by 40, by episode 40, we'll be very... Well, I mean, in a way, no, we are very close to the end of this show. Oh, my God. And I hate the fact that we are close to the end of this because it's like, damn, we're, we're getting the new girl so soon. <laughs> Hello. 
how we even got the name already and I'm not ready for it. Really? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Ain't that a little weird, though, that she don't even know? Because something about this ain't right. That's a big, big red flag. Wait, hold up. So then where in the world is the queen actually? She's in there, isn't she? Oh. So, of course, yes, this is a whole trap. So, before you guys get down here, give them the pact, and then, you know, everything would just all be over for you guys.
now. Yeah, but that's not going to work either. Yeah, but of course you guys didn't listen anyway because you already did it. Because, of course, that was too easy as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, here's the thing. Hurry up and grab it, please. Uh -uh. Please tell me this is not going to end on like a cliffhanger. We got like, we have two minutes left. They are literally like straight up ending this in a cliffhanger. They would do that this week. I mean, you know what? It makes the most sense because we took a break from this show for almost two weeks. And they're like, hey, 
before they get this final ring, let's just go ahead and end this week's on a cliffhanger. Where it's like, yes, they kind of won and they kind of lost at the same time. But here's a cliffhanger just for Christ's sake. Like, oh my god. Everything, everything was going so well, but something felt like a little too easy. And then boom, right there. So of course, now we're in a predicament and we gotta wait until next Saturday to see how this is going to end. And of course, we're going to see the, the final power up for these girls for this new ring. And honestly, I cannot wait to see. I've only seen the, um, the initial, like, art from the toy itself, where it's literally now, it's stuff them, like, um, doing a, a, a dance and then hopping up and everything. They're kind of using the dresser and the pageant, uh, the pageant, I cannot speak. What the hell am I talking about? The power! is um reflecting off the mirror and instantly hitting the monster of the week so of course we're not going to see that until next week so i'm thinking because originally i thought that one power up the first one that they had manatsu would be the leader and that the second one um laura would be but because of that picture it's not going to be like that it's still going to be manatsu being the one in the middle who's going to handle everything course because it's Monet's story at the end of the day everybody else is just living in it no matter what but yeah I mean this was a very interesting episode up until we all found out that you know hey the queen and everybody else is captured and everything and everybody was trying to be fake it's <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I will say, like, seeing the dream sequence from Manasu at the beginning of this episode reminded me of the one episode very early. So I would say, like, in the mid-20s, essentially, when they finally got the dress-up thing. Um, and, and it was very, like... God, how do I say this? Like, not eccentric or I think it's like mm, god I can't think of the damn word like not astronomical um almost eccentric in a way but um almost like a dream within a dream like she's kind of had it before and, and I mean that's what it kind of really felt like with today's episode as well with that first dream sequence because she's having a dream within a dream and she is imagining herself fighting um Despariah. of course didn't work for her and then of course she sees the legendary pretty here so hopefully because i would like to like see at least one more got hair on me one more moment with the legendary pretty here i mean I, it would be nice to kind of see her in the final episode but who knows if that's going to happen but i mean it because i'm trying to remember because it, it's a moment where she had a dream and the legendary pretty here did come up and she was in the aquarium. She's walking around because she was looking for Laura. And next thing you know, Laura pops up and she's in the water and she says, this is the legendary pretty here. This is a legendary weapon, yada, 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 and such. Because that, that was one of my personal favorite episodes and how, like, the quality of animation really, really looked. But, I mean, this was a very good episode. I hate the fact that it ended on the cliffhanger because I don't like cliffhangers like that. But I understand why it needed to happen this week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 36 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Saturday for episode 37. Bye, guys.